In this video, I'll show you how to create fully local dashboard tabs. One of my first videos was about tabs, but the problem with that setup is that when you navigate into different tabs, it also changes for all users that are logged into your Home Assistant. This fixes that issue. You will need to install button card and local conditional card from Hacks. First, I just want to show the problem with the previous setup. On the screen, I have two different browsers open with two different users logged in. You can see that when one user is navigating tabs, it changes for both users. In this new version, that issue is fixed. Okay, with that out of the way, start by creating a vertical stack. This will house everything. Then add a grid with three columns as the first card. Then add a custom button card to the grid. We don't have to be super fancy with this, so I'm just giving it a name and an icon. And I will use the icon underscore name layout preset. The only custom styling I will add is a fixed height of 40px. This should make a bit more sense later. Then I'm making the button into an actual button with tap action. I'm just following the documentation from GitHub here. I will have three tabs. I'm naming them tabs one, two, and three. This name is important to remember for later. And it should be unique. Meaning, if you have more than one tab set up on a dashboard page, you will have to give them different names. That's the first tab button done, so I will just copy it and create a new one. The only things you will need to edit are the name and icon. And under tap action, you need to hide the first and third tab and show the second. Same for the third button, but this time hide the first and second and show the third. And that's the tab buttons done. We could now just add the local conditional cards and be done. But as you can see on the screen, the problem here is that there's no way of indicating what tab is active using the built-in functions. So I have found a nice solution. It's a bit of a workaround, but if you follow closely, I think it should make sense. The idea is to add the buttons again inside each conditional card. Then we could add a stroke, but remove the name and icon. Then, using some CSS, move it up so it sits on top of our main buttons. Lastly, we could remove the buttons that aren't related to the active tab. Easy, right? Let's start by creating the first local conditional card. Add it as card number two to our vertical stack after the buttons. This will be the content that shows up when we click the first tab button. The ID here should be tabs one. Remember our names from the tap action of our buttons. The default state of our first conditional card should also be shown. Then first add a grid with one column. Then straight away add another grid with three columns. I know, confusing. Here is where we will create the stroked buttons. So add a custom button card to this three column grid. You could see an empty card showing up underneath the tab buttons. We will only add styling to this card. Set the height to 40px, add a border of 2px, set a negative margin top of around minus 55px, and set the background to none. We don't have to add three buttons here, but to try and keep it tidy, I will add a second and third button card with a 0px height and 0px padding. Then I'm just adding some content to the one column grid. This is where you should add all your stuff. We've done the tricky part now. Now we just need to copy this whole first local conditional card, change the ID to tabs two, set default state to hidden, and move the stroke button card one step to the right. Then you will of course need to add some content here too. Then do it one more time for the third tab. Copy the full local conditional card, change ID to tabs three, and move the stroke button to the right. And that's it really, fully local dashboard tabs. If I open two different browsers, you can see that you and your wife could use the dashboard at the same time without opening tabs for each other. This whole code is quite clunky. So to make it easier for myself, I have made this into a reusable template using decluttering card. If you want it, it is available on the Gumroad link in the description. But if you don't want to cheat and instead create the template yourself, you just have to copy the whole code into the raw configuration editor and set up some variables for the titles and icons as well as the tab IDs. Here you can see the difference between the templated code and the raw code. It makes it a lot easier to add tabs. Lastly, I would like to point out that there is a front-end integration on the hack store called Tabbed Card. This works okay as well if you just want tabs and don't care too much about customization and design. And that's it. Fully local dashboard tabs with complete customization options.
I love this and use it all over my dashboard to hide things away. As always, you can get the full code from the Gumroad link in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.